Hey there guys, this is for all signs. This is just like, um, if you're thinking about a particular person, it can be family member, lover, friend. It's just someone that you have already sus suspected as hiding something from you. Okay, so we're gonna see what it is. Like, what is this person hiding from you? Three of Pentacles, okay? It might be the type of work that they do or who they actually collaborate with, okay? Let's dive in. What is this person hiding from the collective? Two of Cups. This came out last time in the last um, What is Hidden From You reading, okay? That can be a most definitely a relationship. Let's see where you guys can see that, okay? Intemperance, okay? I keep getting the image of like how she is pouring into this other cup. They may not be upfront about the people's lives that they pour into, you know, to create balance. Like they may be someone that other people are codependent on and they're not telling you about these people or these situations. What else, Spirit? Or it might be a, like I said, like a, um, a connection or a lover that they pour into that they don't tell you about. Three of Swords. Yeah, absolutely. That they either have a broken heart, like their heart has been, they have childhood wounds or past relationship wounds that they're not telling you about. This might be someone that acts like they have no problems at all, okay? Queen of Wands, okay? Well, this is another thing. They might not be telling you exactly um, it, the depth of how attracted they are to you, okay? So, even though they might have a whole nother thing going on. Right? Oh, and I just got an, okay, another side note. This might be someone, so this is, take what resonates because there's two different messages here. This might be someone that has a lot of feelings for you, and you bring a lot of balance to their life and they find you really, really, really attractive. And this is something they have not shared with you yet. They're trying to hide it. They're trying to hide their feelings for you. Okay, so take what applies. Both might apply. This might be someone that's stuck in another situation. They feel like they need to stay there. Um, Ellen said, no one has to stay anywhere. This is just this person's feelings, okay? Um but they are actually really, really attracted to you, wish they could come in union with you and you balance out their life. Okay, so both can apply or just one or the other can apply. All right, what else, Spirit? The fool. Yeah, this is someone um, that has been a fool in the past, may have got themselves in situations or might still have some growing up to do. So this is someone that acts mature when they're not. This is someone that makes decisions quickly and don't think about it, okay? This is actually someone being foolish. So they may try to hide this. They may not always tell you the truth about things they get themselves into or decisions that they make because they make them, look, Ten of Swords, they make decisions that self-sabotage themselves and self sap like, well, it wouldn't be self-sabotage you, but sabotage you, okay? This is someone that hasn't had enough healing and growth to make good decisions, all right? Ten of Swords, everything that they really get involved in ends up in like the Ten of Swords energy. Either they hurt them or they invest in situations that hurt them on purpose. Someone, okay, so this person is addicted. Yeah, strength here. This person needs to find the strength and come out of this. So they hide all of this. This is someone that is like addicted to drama, addicted to being hurt. That's not that any addictions are good, but whew, I wouldn't want that one. <laughs> what else, spirit? What is this person hiding from the collective? Queen of Cups. Ugh, another person. 
Could be a baby mama, okay? Doesn't have to be. But it's someone that, you know, is always offering them a damn cup. This is, okay, this is somebody that comes in and love bombs them. With the Queen of Cups here, they use emotions to stay in the situation. So they might not even be telling you the truth about this person. That they might not even see the truth about this person. <sighs> Five of Pentacles, what I say, like they do not, they're not telling you about a person that they are codependent on or is codependent on them. All right. This came up in some of my other readings. I can't remember which ones right now, but it's like someone has to always fix someone else's life. It doesn't have to be a love situation. You know, it could be a family situation. It could be both. They could have a lover and family that they constantly save. They constantly take care of. And then therefore they can't have anything, you know, um, outside of that. This is eight of wands. Um, they're hiding from you. Others both that they want to move towards you okay this is someone that does want to move towards you six of swords i can't make it up six of swords is moving on okay they're hiding this maybe like from everybody themselves they're trying to stuff this down but they want to move on from their situation what else spirit king of swords they're hiding the truth, okay? The King of Swords tells the truth. This reading is about what are they hiding. They're hiding the truth. They're hiding who they really are. They're hiding, speaking from, you know, their core, what they really feel, what they really want. This is the energy they need to embody, but they haven't. You know what I mean? They, they haven't. They stay... This is what they're not telling you. They stay in this Knight of Wands energy, okay? Which is in and out, not consistent. Um impulsive all right so one minute they might want to be with you the next minute they're over here convinced they need to be with this queen of cups okay because this person even hides from themselves and and others like this is something that they don't even know about themselves is that the fact when people love bomb them that's the way they feel loved. So to actually chase somebody else or to actually go after somebody else and have to do the work, they don't realize that that's the natural energy that they're supposed to be in. They want to be chased, which is not the natural energy. Because this person chases them. Three of cups. Okay? They're definitely not telling you about a third party. They're definitely not telling you about um, a drinking problem or a drug problem or both. Or, again, they're in denial their damn selves about these problems. Ace of Cups, they can definitely be um, hiding how much love they have for you here from everybody. Everybody. Seven of wands let me see here eight of cups they really want to walk away they really want to walk away from a situation that they're in they're not telling anybody that though they're not even making any moves on it six of cups they want to go towards a soulmate okay there may be a pregnancy here i did think that with the ace of cups but it was just a really quick thought so i didn't say anything but with this card here they could definitely be hiding a pregnancy but i really feel like they may be in a situation where this queen of cups always either fakes a pregnancy gets pregnant and then nothing ever comes of it whether it's a fake pregnancy or a miscarriage and it just keeps this person in straight limbo all the time four of swords okay this person might also um four of swords might have like a sickness that they're not telling you about um maybe be taking care of this queen of cups okay 
and they might be sick, you know, like um, the pregnancy, if there is a pregnancy, might not be going well, or this person is just sick, and that's a way to keep this person stuck to them. Okay, this can be a family member too. This can be more than one person, but they act sickly to keep this person stuck, ace of swords, okay, and keeps them from living their true, authentic life, okay? Please let me know what you guys think. Bye, guys.